There's lots of people walking around in the east end of London that's been hit on the chin by Reggie. But I wouldn't say that about Ronnie. It'd be a different kettle of fish with Ronnie, because Ronnie wouldn't be happy with just hitting you on the chin. He'd look for you until he found you and he would hurt you. Simple as that. You would fear Ronnie. And there's no two ways about it. If Reggie sent for you and wanted to see you in Valence Road, you'd go round and see him. You'd have a cup of tea with him and you'd walk out. If Ronnie sent for you, you'd take six pairs of pants with you. That's the difference between the two of them. He was feared, and anybody that said they wasn't frightened of him is telling lies. You know, I mean, I've heard loads of rubbish in the papers and seen all the rest of it. And I tell you what, if the man was alive today, they would be shitting himself. You know, in case he did ever get out. Reg, all his life, had this thing that he had to look after this sick, unstable, identical twin brother. And he did look after him. The only trouble was the unstable, mentally sick twin was the dominant. If Raleigh hadn't been quite so balmy and hadn't killed George Cornell because he's supposed to have called him the fat poof, they would be stone rich geezers. They were in most of the frauds in the East End, a lot of protection, a lot of rackets. They really, really didn't need to kill people. But once that killing had happened, then that increased their terror ratio enormously, you see, particularly with Ronnie. Francis Bacon, incidentally, who also knew him, said he had the most frightening face he'd ever seen, which I think from Francis Bacon is quite something. He was a paranoid schizophrenic and he was mad. But he, he was fascinated by this whole illusory world of gangsterdom. For Ronnie, I think the, the barriers between real crime and film crime were very blurred, and I think he often stepped over them. I've been in pubs in the East End, and the craze had come in, and the pub had empty. People were so afraid of them. They had a, a very driving force behind the two of them, and it had been twins and brothers, they, they urged each other on and tried to, uh, like one would try and do better than the other one. I've done that, you know, I've got this and I've, I've managed to do this. I mean, uh, Ronnie Craig was a stronger personality out of the two the more dominant of the two. But you knew they was, they was f for fame and uh, uh, maybe not fortune, but they, they was going to make their mark on the world, you know, from young, you knew that. I mean, I'm in several photographs from the early days, but I was only uh, trying to keep a low profile, even though I was there at these different events and meetings over the years. I was... Um, a lot of people didn't really know what, why I was there or what I was up to or what I was doing. But I just had, they invited me to lots of openings of, of different gymnasiums and clubs. And and, um, and I was put in different bits of action that they had going. Because um, they needed me as an a ally, you know, because it would give them a bit more strength to know that uh, I was behind the scenes of the... Who, would, who could come in like, with a sort of um, counter-punch or if they got needed any help. And I think I must have helped them to, to get to where they were, you know, by, by being associated with them. To be honest with you, all I know is, is there's seven people that they have killed. There's probably more. I don't know, but that's they're, they're some of the people that I know that they have killed. I think they were so carried away by the role they'd got themselves into as gangster killers, they had to do it finally. So Ron murdered George Cornell in the Blind Beggar pub. His bloodlust was sated for a while, but somehow it wasn't enough. He knew the taboo on killing had to be broken again on the crazed bloody road to fame. The twins had a twisted plan for fame. They would murder their way into the history books.
The twins' competitiveness was escalating dangerously. Reg was under pressure to emulate his homicidal brother Ron and kill someone. 